Welcome to the Torquedo Academy. My name is Stefan Herzinger and with our video tech tips, we will supply our service partners and customers with the latest technical information about our products. Today, I will tell you why you should care for having the latest software version on your TorqueLink throttle and how to do it. First of all, which product are we talking about? This video is about the firmware update for the Torquedo TorqueLink throttle with the article number 197600. So, why should you update your throttle? You should update your TorqueLink throttle because after a quick and easy wireless firmware update to your remote throttle, you'll unlock a new feature. The TorqueView app compatibility means your throttle for your travel remote, ultralight or cruise remote motor could be connected via Bluetooth to our latest TorqueView app. Once you update your throttle, connect the TorqueView app to your drive system and enjoy new features including maps, trip logs, troubleshooting, maintenance tips and service scheduling and over-the-air updates. The next question is, how is the update done? First of all, you have to check the installed firmware of your throttle. Therefore, start up the throttle by pushing the orange power on button for more than three seconds. Check the installed firmware by choosing the menu points, settings and info. Under TCU version, the currently installed firmware version is shown. If version 1.1.31 or newer is installed, you don't have to do anything. If an older version than 1.1.21 is installed, for example version 1.0.10, continue with the update process as follows. First, you have to download the update software from our website, torquedo.com. In the section Cables and Steering, you'll find the product called Torquey Link Throttle with Color Display. Or scan this QR code to be directed to the right page. At the bottom of the page is the menu Downloads, where you could find the latest software for your throttle. Download that file to your Windows PC or laptop and unpack it. For the update process, your throttle has to be connected to the drive system, means motor and battery, or at least has to be supplied with power via the TorqueLink bus. If you downloaded the software file from our website and prepared the TorqueLink throttle nearby, start the update process by opening the file called update to your tcu.exe on your computer. Follow exactly the steps shown in the update program. In the beginning, you have to choose one of the offered languages and press the Next button. Read the welcome page with some explanations and press Next again. Start up the throttle by pushing the orange power on button for more than three seconds, then choose the menu Settings and afterwards Update. The Wi-Fi hotspot is activated by the throttle now and the computer can be connected. The network is called TQTCUXXXX. The Wi-Fi password, if needed, is shown on the display of the throttle. The standard password is 12345678. So open the Windows network settings and connect your computer to the Wi-Fi hotspot of the throttle. If the Wi-Fi connection is set up, press the Update button in the Update program to start the file transfer to the throttle. In the next screen, you will see the ongoing update process and afterwards the throttle will shut down automatically. If it does not shut down by itself, turn it off and on again. If the throttle is turned on again, press the next button in the update software. Then again, choose the menu settings and afterwards update to turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot again, connect your computer again, to the Wi-Fi hotspot of the throttle like you already did a few minutes ago 
and then start the second part of the update by pressing update in the software. Again, you will see the update process and again, after the update process is finished, the throttle will automatically shut down. Now the update is complete. Turn on your throttle. From now on, you can update your Torque Link throttle via the Torque View app. By clicking the Finish button, the update program will be closed. At the end, what to do after having done the update. Normally, the throttle has to be recalibrated after the update you just did. Just follow the instructions on the display of the throttle after you turned it on. You just have to set it to full throttle and press OK. This is the right button. Then set the throttle to full backward and press OK again and then to neutral and press OK. Then the calibration is finished. We recommend to connect your throttle to the Torque View app right away and perform an update now to get the latest version. So now have fun with your updated throttle and your Torquedo electric drive system. Thanks for listening and see you soon at the Torquedo Academy.